Three. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, you know, when it's sunny, this is just completely packed with people. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. My name is Kyle Tui. I'm uh, on the board of directors for the Squamish Wind Sports Society, uh, and we uh, basically have a mandate to promote the wind sports activities in the Squamish area. Um, my particular role on the board is as the race director and event organizer. Squamish is uh, a great spot for kiteboarding because the wind is so con consistent and predictable. Uh, it's smooth wind. Um, you know it's it's going to happen every day. We're on something like 60 something straight days of wind, which is pretty unbelievable for a wind sport. Uh, and it's great. I mean, you can come and kite after work and it's still windy and you don't really need to plan your schedule around around the conditions. Kiteboarding's been around for uh, you know just over uh, a dozen years and um, the, the topic of you know becoming part of the Olympics has been always something that's been in people's minds uh, and before with freestyle that was not really a possibility it's so subjective for the judging um, but now with course racing uh, it's very very structured um, as far as results and, and, and consistencies and um, it's also just a great kind of everyone can do it aspect of the sport so there is a push to bring this to the Olympics in uh, 2016 in Rio. We're doing the the West Coast Open and the Canadian National Championships um, um, it's the first year we've done it and basically we've had a lot of success with our uh, local racing series. We wanted to bring it to kind of a more uh, premium level and, and kind of uh, get an outward projection of kind of showing the world how good this spot is for kite racing. This this is the first year we've done the event and so we've had a lot of interest from uh, all over the place. Uh, this year it's the Canadian Nationals so the bulk of our riders are from Canada uh, trying to compete for that title um, but we've had you know interest in riders coming from as far as uh, Germany and Europe and all through the USA and um, yeah so pretty happy with the turnout this year uh, even despite the, uh, the poor weather forecast. In Canada, there really hasn't been uh, a nationals for kite racing specifically. It's, it's a relatively new aspect of the sport and it's kind of just starting to take hold. So uh, here we decided, you know, if there's going to be any spot in Canada, it should be the premier kite spot to host the first nationals. Squamish has got a huge uh, area on the water for kiteboarding and it's it's great everywhere. Um, right now we're sort of limited because we're getting a, a, a large influx of new riders um, and the area that we have at the spit here, it's a great launching spot but it's very very small relative to the uh, large community. So this is a, a, a great problem to have. Um, but right now what we need is more uh, launching and landing space and more kind of on land land. And uh, the new Squamish Oceanfront development, um, it, it really kind of opens that up uh, for the sport, for the location. So people don't start to go elsewhere. Uh, you know, they can bring um, the sport here and we can just grow it here. One of the things that excites me is that uh, the community is growing. Um, and to have that beach access as part of it, my, my draw personally for coming here is for sports, uh, one of the main ones being the wind sports. So um, to have that access as part of the community um, makes me want to move here full time.